In this video, we will be looking at tests for divisibility, which are divisibility rules or conditions that enable us to determine whether a given number is divisible by some common numbers such as 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So it's quite interesting. Let's go ahead and check out what these divisibility tests are. I've clubbed these numbers together because the conditions are quite similar. So let's start off with 2. I have the dividend here, the given number 32138 and these are the divisors. So the divisibility test for 2 says that the last digit of the number should be an even number and the last digit is always the units digit. So let's uh, try to determine if this number is divisible by 2 or not. So 8 is an even number. So it is divisible by 2, right? Moving on to 4, the condition states that the last two digits should be divisible by 4. So the last two digits should be divisible by 4. In this dividend which is given, the last two digits are 38. Let's see if 38 is divisible by 4 or not. Let's actually divide it, 38, 4 nines are 36, the remainder is 2, 38 is not divisible by 4. So moving on to 8, the condition states that the last 3 digits should be divisible by 8. So the last 3 digits, let's see if 138 is divisible by 8. 8 or not. So 8 ones are 8, reminder is 5, 8 comes down, 56. 8 sevens are 56, again the reminder is 2. So 138 is not divisible by 8. So this example here is only divisible by 2. Now one more point is that when you divide by 8, you can also check if it is divisible by 4 as well as if it is divisible by 2. So the condition can be or divisible by both 4 and 2. Let's move on to 3 and 9. So the divisibility test for 3 is that the sum of all digits of the number, the sum of all digits of the number should be divisible by 3. And similarly, in the case of 9, the sum of all digits should be divisible by 9. So let's see if this number is divisible by 3 or 9. So the sum of digits is 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1. So 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 1 is 12. So 12 is divisible by 3, but 12 is not divisible by 9. So this number is divisible by 3, but not divisible by 9. Moving on, the divisibility test for 5 says that the last digit, the units digit, should be either 0 or 5. And for 10, it says that the units digit should be 0. Let's see if this number is divisible by 5 or 10. We see that the units digit is 0 and it satisfies both of these conditions. So it is divisible by 5 and 10. Now let's see the divisibility rule for 11. The difference between sum of alternate digits must be divisible by 11. So let's take this example and find out the alternate digits. So you, you need to take out the alternate digits. So let's mark the alternate digits, 6, then 7, and then 7. So let's add those alternate digits. So 6 plus 7 plus 7 is one group, and 2 plus 7 is another group. So 6 plus 7 plus 7 is 20, and 2 plus 7 is 9. And it says that the difference between sum of alternate digits. So we have summed up alternate digits. We have to calculate the difference. So the difference is 
20 minus 9 is 11 and if this is divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 otherwise it's not divisible by 11 so let's now solve this question and see if you have understood the concept or not so the question is if the number 5 to 6 star 2 4 3 is completely divisible by 3 then the smallest whole number in place of star would be if this complete number is considered and it is divisible by 3 then what would come in place of this star so the answer is quite simple first you, you need to know the divisibility test of 3 so let's look at the divisibility test of 3 it says that sum of all digits should be divisible by 3 so let's sum up all the all, all those digits so sum of digits is 5 plus 2 plus 6 plus the star plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 now you need to calculate the sum of all this so take out the star and sum up the rest of the numbers so uh, let's do it actually 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 2 is 15 plus 4 is 19 plus 3 is 22 plus we have the star and the sum of digits is 22 plus star now you need to find out what would be the smallest value of star so that this number is divisible by 3 so let's start by putting 0 so if it's 0 then 22 would not be divisible by 3 if it is 22 plus 1 that is 23 then also it is not going to work if the value of star is 2 so 22 plus 2 is 24 and 24 is divisible by 3 so the lowest value that this asterisk or star can take should be 2 so that the number is divisible by 3 so the correct answer is option C okay let's solve another question if x and y are two digits of the number 513xy such that the number is divisible by 80 what is x plus y so what could be the answer so let's write this number 513x and y so 80 could be written as 8 into 10 so this number should be divisible by 8 as well as divisible by 10 so let's look at the divisibility test for 10 it is that units digit must be 0 so from the definition from the condition we can easily say that y should be equal to 0 now what should be the value of x so let's look at the divisibility condition for 8 which states that the last three digits should be divisible by 8 so the last three digits should be divisible by 8 so the last three digits are 3x and y which is 0 so 3x 0 so we need to find out x such that it is divisible by 8 so start putting values in x starting from 0 so 300 divided by 8 which is not going to work when x is taken as 1 3 1 0 divide by 8 so 310 is also not divisible by 8 3 2 0 divide by 8 it is divisible 8 4s are 32 and then 0 so answer is 40 so 320 is divisible by 8 so x should be equal to 2 so what should be the value of x plus y which is 2 plus 0 which is 2 so the answer to this question should be the option C the best way to remember these conditions is to group them the way I explained in the video so let's revise them once more so the divisibility test for 2 is that the last digit should be an even number that is it should be divisible by 2 in case of 4 the last two digits are considered and those two digits should be divisible by 4 in case of 8 the last three digits should be divisible by 8 
in case of 3 we sum up all the digits of the number and see if it is divisible by 3 or not for 9 again we sum up all the digits and see if it is divisible by 9 or not for 5 the units digit must be 0 or 5 for 10 the units digit must be 0 and for 11 we take up alternate digits we sum up alternate digits and then we take the difference between them we took up alternate digits and then we took their difference and if that difference is divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11